everyone and welcome to Art with Miss Myra. I'm so glad that you have joined me um, today. Um, today is uh, Tuesday, April 7th um, and today we are going to do a really fun project. We are going to be making a bunny painting um, out of toilet paper rolls, the empty uh, toilet paper rolls. So, so the things that you're going to need for this project is you're going to need um, you know, either one or two um, empty toilet paper rolls. Um, you're going to need a, a black Sharpie uh, marker. You're going to need a scissor. You're going to need um, paper. Um, and you're going to need acrylic paints and a paintbrush. Um, so those are the items that you're going to be needing, um, and the, I'm actually going to show you two projects today, okay? And the first project is we're just going to be doing one of our little bunny paintings on just a regular a sheet of paper, any kind of um, colored paper. If you are, if you don't have colored paper, that's okay too. You can just use white printer paper. Um, and then I'm going to show you. <clears throat> we're going to. Uh, um, make a little um, Easter Bunny card that we could send um, to a loved one that we're not going to be able to be with um, this Easter. So a lot of us have uh, family members, our friends, um, maybe that we would generally see, you know, on Easter. Um, and for, <clears throat> you know, whatever reason this year, um, we're not going to be able to see them. So I'm going to show you how to make a little um, Easter Bunny card that um, I want you to send <clears throat> to one of those family members and stuff that you're not going to be seeing this Easter. So, but let's get our supplies together and then get started and I'll show you how to make this really cute project. So I'm going to just move the camera down a little bit so you can see my workspace. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take an empty um, toilet paper roll and then we're just going to cut it <clears throat> into pieces and um, I want you to cut it each toilet paper roll into three pieces. So three equal, as equal as you can get them, okay, um, pieces. And then we're going to um, start um, deciding and stuff. Uh, where we want to put our bunny okay so on this for this painting I want to put put one bunny here and one bunny over here okay and so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to just kind of lay out my um, my little um, design here before I get started because I like to have an idea in my head of how I'm going to um, do this and for the ears, you know, this is for the body. I put one down for the head and one down for the um, For the body and I'm just I want the the regular circle um, But for the ears, I'm going to kind of squish the the toilet paper roll a little bit and I'm gonna get kind of an ear shaped and then I'm just gonna kind of lay that down and, and see that's that's kind of how I want it Okay, and so I'm going to get started painting and I want to do the head first and so Let's make let's make this We're gonna make the head pink So I'm just gonna take my acrylic paint and I'm going to very carefully um, Just kind of dab on some paint on the outer edge of my um, toilet paper roll that I've I've um, cut here and I'm going to kind of use this as kind of, uh, uh, you know, we did printmaking the other day and stuff. This is kind of a, a printmaking project too. And then I'm just going to very firmly push that down on the, on the paper. And then there we go. We have our, our little head. Okay. And so let's make the body pink too and I'm going to oh I guess I wouldn't have to do that we'll do um, <laughs> on the same one we're gonna do a pink so we want two you know um, two of the circles one for the head one for the body and then ears and I want to just come over here and I'm just gonna firmly press down and make my little body and now I'm going to do the ears 
And if I don't want to do the ears, let's say I don't want to do the ears pink. I want to do those white. That's all right. I can do that. So I'm just going to dip into my white paint a little bit. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to put down one ear. And then I'm going to do some more paint on this. And then I'm going to do the other ear. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, because I've got my, my little Easter bunny, see I have him on my, on my page, I have the body and the, uh, the head and the body and the two ears, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, oh, after I wash out my brush, I'm going to take my black Sharpie. And I'm just going to make him have two little eyes and a little mouth and then some whiskers. I'm, I'm going to have him have three whiskers. Okay, so that's my little Easter Bunny. Now, if I wanted to embellish him a little bit, I could. If I have, if you have little pom-pom balls, you can take a little pom-pom ball and um, glue a little pom-pom on for his little tail. Or if you have a button, or if you have any, like a, a jeweled, um, a little jewel, uh, you know, a crafting jewel um, that you wanted to, you know, put on there and stuff and kind of embellish him a little bit and stuff, you could do that. But there is our little bunny, okay? And so now if I was going to finish this painting, what I would do is I, I have my little bunny here. I would have one here and maybe I'm going to make him Let's let's make him in kind of a different way. I'm going to show you guys another little way that we can do this and, and kind of make this fun. So this little guy I'm going to make purple and I'm going to go right over the top of my pink um, paint. I'm not going to worry about, you know, um, color mixing and stuff because that's that's okay. Sometimes that ends up to be a really pretty design. So I'm just going to oops, do my head here and I'm just pressing down firmly, you know, so I get, get a, in, you know, the impression of, of the little toilet roll, um, cut out that I've done on my paper, you know, the, after I filled it with paint. Okay. I'm going to come here and I'm going to do the body. Okay, and then I'm going to flip this over. Now let's say I want this little guy to have feet. So I'm going to take another one of my toilet paper rolls and I'm just going to squish it. You know, kind of squish it down. And then I'm just going to... make him he's gonna have feet so you can do you know two different versions of this you can make one with feet and one without doesn't matter I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm gonna press down firmly okay and now I'm gonna come back up here after I've washed out my brush I'm going to dip into my white paint again and I'm going to have him have white ears. I 
actually I can probably get his second ear just with the amount of paint that I have on here. So I'm going to have him have white ears. There we go. Okay, and then he is going to get a little pink pom-pom for his little tail. And I'm just going to kind of set that off to the side there. Okay. And then the same thing, guys. We're just going to take our black Sharpie. We're going to draw on two little eyes and the little mouth, nose type thing. And then we're going to just draw on little whiskers. Okay. And there you go. That's our, uh, that's our little toilet roll uh, bunny painting. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, we talked about making a card. Um, so all of us are going to have family this year and stuff that probably aren't going to get to come home uh, for Easter. And, that, and that's okay. Um, you know, it's, it's, but it's important for um, us to let those people know that we're thinking about them and, and we care about them. And so we're going to make a little Easter Bunny card that you could maybe send to your grandparents if you're not going to be able to be with your grandparents or maybe you have older siblings um, that are away at college. Uh, you could send um, them a little card, um, you know, but it's just a, a, a little a way of that you can make this little card and, and send it to them and then they know that you're thinking about them, okay? So all I did here, kids, was I took... Um, just a regular sheet. This is actually cardstock, but if you don't have cardstock, that's okay. Um, you can just use white construction paper or you can use white printer paper if that's all you have. And then um, ask your mom or your grandma if they have any extra envelopes, okay? And so, you know, I, I'm mom and I have lots of extra envelopes, um, you know, from over the years of, of whatever and stuff. I just have a lot of extra envelopes. So all I did was was I took my, my envelope that I'm going to use to send this, to mail this to somebody, and I just took my cardstock and I put it down and then I just cut it out so it will fit in this envelope, okay? So now we're going to design that and we're gonna do um, the same little Easter bunny print, okay? So this this one I'm actually going to um, send to um, probably my oldest son that and, and his girlfriend that live in Jamestown. So Nathan, I'm sorry, Sarah, if you're watching this, honey, don't, don't act. You can still act surprised when you get it. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to send this to, to my oldest son and, and his girlfriend in Jamestown because I know that I won't be able to see them on Easter. So, okay. So I'm just going to make them a little purple, a little purple bunny. And this one, we're going to have to go kind of down on the, on the bottom on the bottom part of our little card, you know, because we want the ears to fit on there. And same thing, I just brushed my paint on and I'm gonna, um, you know, make a head and then a body and then my ears. So this is such a simple project, guys. And, and this, is, this is one thing that I'm talking about. You don't need special supplies to create art. You know, I've just taken an empty toilet paper roll here. That's all I'm using and stuff to to make my my little bunny design with. And and so, you know, look around your house and see. There's a lot of different things that we have around the house um, that we can use for um, you know supplies for for to create art. We just have to look at it, look at those things in a different way, right? Oh, and I'm going to want to make these pink, you know that? He's going to have pink ears. Kind of marbled. Marbled white and pink.
So speaking of my oldest son, Nathan, I want to say thank you to him and his co-workers at the Dollar Tree in Jamestown. Um, they sent me a box of art supplies um, this last week, and I really appreciate that, guys. I, I They heard um, about me doing uh, th the lessons here for you kids, um, and they wanted to... Um, help get me some supplies that I might not have and stuff. So they sent me a whole box of of art supplies and I really appreciate that. So big shout out to everyone, um, to my son Nathan, um, who is the assistant manager of the Dollar Tree in uh, uh, Jamestown, uh, North Dakota, and to his coworkers who got that box together for me. Thank you guys, I sure appreciate it. And I'm going to utilize all of the supplies that you sent me, so. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just drawing on our, you know, our little design of our, of our, um, our face on our little bunny. Okay, and so now I've got my, my design on my card, and I'm going to write, Happy Easter. Okay, and so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna send that um, off to uh, Nathan and Sarah and um, hopefully they will have a wonderful Easter. So, all right, so that is it for today's project. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And just like I said, um, you know, it's, it's important to keep in mind and stuff that especially during this time, not all of us have access to you know um, fancy art supplies and, and that kind of stuff so you know you need just to think kind of out of the box a little bit you know um, and and you know take things like empty pa toilet paper rolls and and you can make fun projects with those things so I hope that you guys all enjoy today's project um, tomorrow's project is uh, we're going to be making salt dough Easter egg ornaments okay so for this project you're going to need a rolling pin you're going to need an egg shaped um, cookie cutter and if you don't have one of those don't worry about it I will show you how to draw out a template and then we'll just use a template um, to make those and then you're going to need a straw or you can even use the the end um, of a, um, a paintbrush and stuff to poke the holes you're going to need acrylic paint ribbon or yarn um, and then to make the actual salt dough ornaments, you're going to need flour, salt, and water. So those are the only things that we're going to need for tomorrow's project. This is going to be a really fun um, project again. And I hope that you all join me back here tomorrow at 11 a.m. Mountain Time for Art with Miss Myra. Thanks, guys, and have a great night. Bye-bye.